The 2022 ISPS Hand of Vision Cup was held at the majestic TPC Sawgrass in Florida from September 18th to the 22nd. Former Irish Prime Minister and Handa Ambassador Enda Kenny was the special guest at the opening ceremony on Sunday, September 18th. He received a special presentation from the 9-11 families that were at the opening ceremony. Mr Kenny spoke of the importance of events like these. This is about the opportunity for people who have a disability, either congenital or acquired through whatever, uh, whatever factors, to be able to play golf. And it means that they have people with them who are guides as to where the ball is, where the club face is facing uh, and all of that. So it's, if you like, it's, a, it's an expression of their own ability and commitment to do better than um, people might expect. And that's a wonderful thing. I hope that in the coming years that more and more players, men and women from all over the world, will understand that they too can play golf on any golf course uh, <laughs> so long as they have the opportunity to have assistance from guides where that's necessary. Again, I can only play golf with the help of you know, my guide who's here, who's been with me throughout the whole journey for 12 years and uh, say without him, I've I, I been struggling to play golf. So it's very much a team effort and not an individual effort. The guide's role for me is first and foremost is the safety of Billy for me and the players, all of them. And uh, just to give them something back, you know, I'd rather do this and actually play golf. And that and just sums it up for me. On Wednesday, September 21st, a special inclusion day was held at the TPC Sawgrass facility. Visually impaired and disabled children from the Florida School for the Deaf and Blind gathered and spent time with the 28 Vision Cup golfers from around the world. Members from both teams were on hand to provide advice and encouragement to the children. We want to motivate them to move. We want to give them those experiences that encourage them to not just be out in the community, but want to exercise and be healthy. And no better way than doing it by sport, and especially no better way but doing it by golf. It's always great to have uh, mentors uh, from the blind and visually impaired community for our students, because sometimes they can feel like, hey, like I'm the only one, but coming out and being successful or even just trying a new sport like golf uh, really motivates them to continue that in the future. Golf Ireland Inclusion and Diversity Chair Jerry Houlihan spoke about the event. There's so many people out there who don't realise that there is blind golf and to come and to experience it, I hope that this event will highlight the ability of such great players that there are in this association. I mean, it's just incredible, but we need more awareness. We need people to actually think about I could play that game and I could get to Sawgrass because this is a really a bucket list achievement for many of the players here today. On Thursday morning, September 22nd, Matt Burrows, Director of Golf Operations at TPC Sawgrass, greeted the golfers and announced the final day singles pairings. Something that we focus on here at, at TPC Sawgrass and the PGA Tour is inclusiveness. Seeing the players and the connections they have with their coaches and the excitement that they have for the game uh, and just that bond that they have together, also the team atmosphere. I mean, it's really a special week and to have the Vision Cup here and uh, there's nothing like team golf and the spirit of playing for your country. TPC Sawgrass and the PGA Tour partnering with the Vision Cup, that that may lead to other stature facilities hosting the event in the future. In the glorious Florida sunshine, the North American team defeated the rest of the world after a tense and exciting battle to the finish. The rest of the world team, they were absolute fighters over the last three days. And uh, our guys uh, knew this going in. We had had team meetings and discussions that this was going to be the case. And with that, uh, the team matching and the team pairings that we had uh, were geared towards that so that uh, we would pet our best against their best. It's our pleasure as the host facility of the 2022 Vision Cup to recognize Team North America as the 2022 Vision Cup champions. I've played in a lot of blind golf tournaments now and this 
uh, playing with teammates and having the camaraderie that comes along with it and to share the experience with others is something that makes it sweeter, makes it more fun. And although we lost the first four, it makes this win a lot sweeter as well to finally win one and to share it with others. It's, it's so cool. So extremely happy to finally have our hands on this thing and uh, hope, to, hope to keep it for a long time to come. This was a truly amazing week for visually impaired golf and for the wider visually impaired community. The 2022 ISPS Hand of Vision Cup will leave a lasting legacy and has set a high bar for future international blind golf events. It's important that the best blind golfers in the world get to play on the best golf courses in the world, especially in the most prestigious blind golf event that we have, the Vision Cup. I have to say over the three days, it's been a spectacular experience for everybody. Both teams are already looking forward to the next Vision Cup, scheduled to be held in Europe in 2024.